Welcome to the OK Grants online grant management system training video series. This series is specific to grants and applications administered by the Oklahoma Department of Commerce and should not be referred to for applications of other agencies or entities. The OK Grants online grant management system can be accessed through any current web browser. If you can watch this video, you can work within OK Grants. To begin, navigate to the OK Grants login screen. Go to grants.ok.gov. It may be helpful to bookmark this site. To access OK Grants, you need a username and password. This information will have been provided by your agency administrator or an automated email from admin at okosf.ok.gov. Use this screen to log in and reach the home screen. If you forget your password or username, use the links on the login screen to recover them. This video is a walkthrough of the Request for Advanced Payment workflow in the OK Grants online grant management system and will demonstrate the process of requesting advanced funds for an executed contract in OK Grants. Advanced requests can be created and completed by users with the role of writer, authorized official, or financial officer. However, only authorized officials and financial officers are able to submit requests for payment. You can confirm your role on this screen in the welcome box. To begin, click Open My Tasks on the home screen. If you are logged in with the role of an authorized official or a financial officer, you may see an advanced request previously built by a writer for your organization. If this is the case, click the advanced name and follow along as we go through the first few steps. The task box may contain a few items. Look for your executed contract. If you cannot find your contract in the task box, it may not be in an executed status. If this is the case, contact your grant administrator or liaison at the Department of Commerce. Find and click the document name of the executed contract. This takes you to the ODOC application screen. You are now working within the application and can create the advance request. Click the View Related Items button toward the bottom of the screen. This takes you to the Related Items page. Depending on how much prior activity has occurred within the project, you may see other documents on this list. Since you are creating a new advance request, click the link Initiate an ODOC Advance and then click I Agree on the following page. You are now on the ODOC Advance menu, which looks similar to the ODOC Application menu. Once here, notice the document name near the top of the screen. This is the name of the advance you created. It can now be found among the related items you saw earlier so you can return to it later if needed. If you are an authorized official or a financial officer and someone already created the advance on your behalf, this is where you rejoin us. To complete the request for payment, you must access the advance form. To do so, click on the View, Edit and Complete Forms button. This takes you to the Forms menu. Look for the Request for Payment form and access the form by clicking on the link. This takes you to the advanced form, and this form is fairly simple. Multiple lines permit you to request funds from various budgeted items in accordance with the budgets and the received invoices and prepared purchase orders. Input your requested amounts and line items. The IDIS activity column is for ODOC personnel and can be ignored. Below the input lines, there are several total fields, and these will automatically update appropriately once you save the page. There is also an available text field for explanations or breakdowns. Depending on the nature of your project, it may be necessary to use this field to record invoice, PO numbers, or other information. For project-specific requirements, refer to the Project Management's Guide located at okcommerce.gov slash OK Grants. Once this page is completed, record your work with the Save button at the top right of the screen. Saving the page will cause a message to appear at the top of the screen. A red light indicates what you need to review to complete. A green light indicates that the page has been successfully completed and that you are finished with this page. Depending on the nature of your project, you may be required to upload relevant supporting documents. This can be done with the Uploads form accessed by the Uploads link near the bottom of the screen. 
this screen provides several lines to describe and upload relevant documents. For example, you can attach a purchase order. Adding a brief description will make it easier to find later. The Browse or Choose File button allows you to browse your computer for the relevant document. Once the document is selected, the line updates to reflect the file name. When you have uploaded all required supporting documents, click on the Save button at the top right to save your work. The green light tells you that the page is saved. At this point, your advanced request has been successfully prepared. The last step is to submit the advance to the Department of Commerce. Look near the top of the screen, next to the document information, for the name of the advance you created. Your advance name is a link that takes you back to the ODOC advance menu. The advance request is currently in the in process status. You must change it to the submitted status. To do this, look for the View Status Options button. If you are logged in as an authorized official or financial officer, you will find options to cancel or submit the advance request. Writers cannot submit advance requests and will not see this option. To submit the request, click the Submit link. Once the advance request is submitted, you will arrive back at the ODOC advance menu. There you will see the status has changed to Advance Submitted. The request for payment is now completed and awaiting processing at the Department of Commerce, and you should receive an email confirmation. Congratulations, you have created and submitted an advance request through the OK Grant system. If you encounter issues or have further questions about the process or your contract, contact your Department of Commerce liaison for assistance. For walkthroughs of OK Grants tasks and processes, troubleshooting assistance, FAQs, and other resources, please visit the OK Grants resource page at okcommerce.gov slash okgrants. Good luck with your projects, and thanks for watching.